I also want to make, I also want to share, and I'm also gonna do, I want to do a, the last thing is, imp I want to get, you might heard me say in other videos that I really want to start. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about my goals and predictions for 2024 because I really think this is going to be my year on YouTube and in general and I think it's gonna be really amazing and 2023 is already ending which is scary because this went really really fast and I enjoyed it a lot there were there were moments where it wasn't amazing but in general if I draw the line the year was really really good 2024 going to be even better if I'm a little dark that's because of the green screen again and I'm trying to lighten myself as best I can I'm gonna go blind after this but okay I have a piece of paper right here that I'm gonna be looking at so this is why I'm looking down all the time. Let's get into it. The first things I want to say are goals that are external, basically saying that they're out of my control, but there are things that I want to achieve. I want to get monetized on YouTube. So the requirements are 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch time hours. We're doing fine in the last few months because I've been getting a lot of more views and a lot more watch time. And I really think this year we can do a lot, a lot more. So if you want to help me, go ahead and subscribe so we get to that thousand. Even if I don't get to the thousand subscribers, like that's completely fine. If I get to like seven, eight, nine hundred, even that would be crazy, insane. And it would be incredible. That's really, that's really just it. This is what I put kind of as external goals because I don't want to focus my list on things that I don't have a control over. If you can't control something, don't bother with it. Don't bother with it because we only have limited mental capacity and if we fill it up with things that are really not that important, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna waste it. Okay, now let's get to the things that I actually have control over. So we have like YouTube, we have plans, we have personal life, which is a little bit different. So I'm going to try to just kind of get through this. My computer is trying to die, but I said no. -uh. So YouTube, you might heard me say in other videos that I really want to start posting weekly long format videos. Y'all are probably already familiar with my kind of long form videos that are usually from 10 to 20 minutes. If that's too much for you, I understand time is precious but I'm not going to make short videos just to, I don't know, just to get a few more views. That's not really what I do. I make videos with my heart and um, I just put everything into them. So that's kind of it. I also want to make one short per week. So I post long videos every Friday kind of evening and then shorts on Mondays. And if I could do that for like a year, that would make huge growth on my channel. I know, I know. But it's really hard to keep up with this, especially with exam seasons and stuff like that. So that's not always going to work out, but I'm going to work my best to do that this year. The second thing is that I also want to share more diverse videos. I want to start the year off with some crocheting and knitting tutorials. Full how to, how to start crocheting and knitting in only one video because I think people are kind of missing this. We need to put everything in one video because I really hate it when I try to learn something and I have to watch 50 videos to get everything I need. So I'm gonna focus on that. I'm also doing a very fun knitting challenge throughout the Christmas break. So I'm gonna be posting this somewhere in January, I think. And I'm also gonna do realistic drawings because I've also done that in the past. Obviously nobody watched, but I'm gonna do that maybe a little more if I get interest again. And again, talk about plans, talk about more personal life, stuff like this. I want to do a collab with someone. The last thing is improve my video quality. I've been already putting so much more effort into making my videos way better than, let's say if you go back in the beginning of my channel, watermarks have been removed. Quality has been put to up to 4K. Um, there have been color balances, sound editing, better music, I guess, uh, better shots. I've been doing my best to make the videos as quality as possible. But the thing is, a phone camera can never replace an actual camera. And that's at some point something that I want to do. I've been thinking of maybe buying myself an actual camera this year. They are expensive, but I really would use it. Like, I think if you use something, even if it's expensive, if you really use it a lot, I think it kind of makes up for it. And the fact is, I record almost weekly, and uh, I also love to take a lot of a lot of good photos. So if I had a camera, that would be absolutely amazing. But I don't want to spend 
like a thousand bucks on a camera. We'll see. I'll probably work throughout the summer. So maybe after I get the money, I can maybe see where I'm going to use it. We're moving to plants and there isn't really a lot that I want to talk about. But basically, I want to buy plants that I really never had the conditions to grow. So I want to buy some velvet filled dungeons, some bigger filled dungeons, whatever. Because now I have figured out the greenhouse thing. You can also watch my videos on them because you can watch my video on the greenhouses because it's amazing and you should really watch it. it it's pinned up and uh, that's it. So we will have space and may I hope conditions to grow these plants this year. Finally, I really want to start growing out my plants on poles. I have my Melano Chrysan that is growing really well. I have my El Choco Red. I have uh, Monstera Albo and... Uh, Plants are behind you, this is why I'm looking like this. And there are other plants that I am not gonna think of right now, but you get my point. And I really want to get rid of pests, at least for a little bit, because that's it's not even funny anymore. They just keep appearing. But the truth is, I don't want to spray all my plants down every single week. I don't want to do it. And try to kill as little plants as possible, because plants cost money, and uh, money is not that easy to get. Now let's get a little more personal, it's really nothing crazy, but you know, some things in my personal life. So I want to start doing the tests for my driver's license because I'm planning to kind of get it when I'm 18. So uh, next year I'm gonna, I'm turning 17 pretty soon. So I kind of have to get started. There is a lot of things that I have to go through. There is the test, there is the, the, uh, the, the doctor's exam, there's hours of driving, there's the actual test, there's a lot. So I need to kind of get started if I want to drive at the age of 18. That's it. I want to keep up with my school grades that are pretty good without getting burned out and without wasting my time studying because, yes, studying is really important. And I do study for exams. That's important, I know. But I'm not going to spend every minute of my free time on studying just because I can. Because, frankly, there is always more to study. So if I could just study whenever I, I need to, I would be studying all the time. And I don't want to do that. I want to do another solo dance. So you probably don't notice. I don't know if I ever talked about this, but I'm a hip hop dancer. And this year I had my first solo. It wasn't very amazing looking back at it, but I was really proud when I made it. And this year I want to just kind of improve myself and just go, go on a competition and see kind of where this leads me to because last year it was very fun and I want to do it again. I want to finish a bunch of projects that I have in work. There is a huge hyper-realistic drawing that I've been just keeping under my desk for like half a year now. I have it, I have it recorded. I'm literally recording a video about it and it's not going to get finished anytime soon, let's be real. I have an actual sweater in my drawer right there that is not going to be done anytime soon because it's annoying it the pattern is annoying and it goes too slowly but you know there's many projects like this that i just kind of started and never finished and there's things that they just take a lot of time and you know by the way uh i have a lot of free time if i compare myself to let's say my friends a lot of them have way less than me however i would still I could really use a few more hours of free time every day. That would really help me, okay? The last thing that is very important is to spend a lot of quality time with people that are really close to me. That can be my family and my friends. This year it's been okay, but I want to do even more this year. Again, if you want to help me monetize this channel, click that subscribe button and watch some other of my videos to help me with the watch time. And that's kind of it. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a very nice holidays and a very nice new year. Goodbye.